Ever wondered about the origins of the jack-o'-lantern? Ah, the jack-o'-lantern. An emblematic symbol of Halloween, its eerie orange glow is a familiar sight on doorsteps every October. What makes this carved pumpkin so special? Why has it become an integral part of the Halloween tradition? The sight of a jack-o'-lantern is enough to ignite the spirit of Halloween in our hearts. Its grotesque face, illuminated from within, becomes a beacon in the night, warding off evil spirits and welcoming trick-or-treaters alike. Yet behind its grinning facade, there's a shroud of mystery that adds to its allure. The jack-o'-lantern is not just a festive prop. It holds a rich tapestry of history and folklore. Its story is a melting pot of cultural traditions, superstitions, and even a tale about a man named Stingy Jack. But to truly understand the jack-o'-lantern, we need to delve into its fascinating origins. Believe it or not, the first jack-o'-lanterns were actually made from turnips. Yes, you heard it right. Turnips! The origins of this curious tradition can be traced back to ancient Celtic customs, specifically the festival of Samhain. This was a time when the barriers between our world and the spirit world were believed to be at their thinnest, and people would carve faces into turnips to ward off any malevolent spirits that might be wandering around. These early lanterns were not the vibrant orange pumpkins we're familiar with today. Instead, they were made from turnips, beets, or even potatoes. The Celts would hollow out these root vegetables and place an ember inside to light up the eerie faces. It was a sight to behold, a blend of fear and fascination. But how did we move from turnips to the now iconic pumpkin? The answer lies across the Atlantic. As Irish immigrants flooded into North America, they brought their Halloween traditions with them. The tale of the jack-o'-lantern was one such tradition, deeply rooted in their cultural folklore. However, as they settled into their new home, adapting to the local environment was crucial, and so the humble turnip was replaced. Enter the pumpkin, a native of North America, large in size and easier to carve. This vibrant orange gourd was an ideal canvas for the intricate designs of the jack-o'-lantern. The pumpkin size was a stark contrast to the compact turnip, allowing for more detailed, expressive faces to be carved into its surface. Plus, its hollow interior provided a perfect space for a candle, casting a haunting glow that would become synonymous with Halloween. The switch to pumpkins was not just a matter of convenience, but of creativity. It was a way to honor an old tradition in a new land, bridging the gap between past and present. So, we now have a pumpkin lantern, but who is this Jack anyway? The name Jack-o'-lantern comes from an old Irish folktale about a man named Stingy Jack. Stingy Jack was a notorious trickster, so crafty that he even managed to deceive the devil himself. He invited the devil to share a drink with him, but, living up to his name, refused to pay. He convinced the devil to transform into a coin, promising to pay for their drinks. Once the devil obliged, Jack simply pocketed the coin, keeping the devil trapped. Only when Jack agreed to free him, the devil swore not to claim Jack's soul when he passed. But when Jack's time came, heaven didn't want a trickster like him. The devil, bound by his own promise, couldn't take him either. Jack was left to roam the earth, his only guide a burning coal inside a hollowed out turnip, a haunting beacon in the dark. And that, dear viewers, is the story behind the glowing faces you see on porches every Halloween night. 